Hi, I'm Ellis from Nathaniel Cars, and we're proud to be sponsoring Pedabon FC as they get geared up for European football this season. Before their journey to Europe starts, however, we're getting a few members from the club behind the wheel of the all-electric MG4 to tell us a little bit about how they got there. So we're just getting on the M4 now, but are we finding the, uh, the MG4? How are we finding it? Oh, it's outstanding, I've got to be honest. Yeah. It's like driving a spaceship. <laughs> yeah. How are you finding it different from a petrol car? Do you have to change your driving a little bit? Or? Yeah, it's just so much. I, you, you can't, it's just standing to drive, it's like driving a go-kart. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely get on these if I could, like. What have the boys been like about playing at the brewery? Obviously it's a little bit different from playing at Pedabont, so what's their feelings about it? I think before we played the friendly last night, I thought I think some boys obviously they've never seen the brewery field, so it was it was new to them. So, but when they when they seen the pitch last night, it's, it can't go wrong. It's, the pitch is lovely, like it's perfect for all we want. Um, and I think it'll be in our advantage going into the Andorra game. Obviously, they are used to playing on 3G, so are we. But I think hopefully it'll go in our advantage. But the, the pitch itself is. Really, really nice. Obviously, playing on a grass pitch is a rugby ground usually. But how did the boys find it? How did you find it underfoot? How, how was it? No, the pitch is set up as a football pitch. You wouldn't tell. You couldn't tell it was a, it was a rugby pitch to be honest with you. Um, but the surface itself, obviously, we had a bit of rain last night as well, so it, it was it was nice last night. It was zippy. So obviously, as well as the, the football side of things, you're also involved with Pedabon in the community or the, the community scheme. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so obviously when I come to Pennebont, I was in uni at the time doing a football degree, and um, when I when I uh, graduated, the club offered me a, a, a job to work within the community, just to build the club, just get the club out there really, and tell everyone what we do and how we help it within the community. So yeah, I do that twice a week, go into schools and take some sessions with the children in the schools. And the end goal is to hopefully get them through the gate on match day, you know. So obviously you're going to be flying into Barcelona yeah. and get a bus to Andorra. If you had to drive an electric car from Bridgend to Andorra, you've got to take two members of the club. It can be teammates, it can be coaching staff, whoever, right? But you've got to take them on this road trip with you. Who are you taking <laughs> and why? I am not even going to go to the players. No? I'm going to go with Jailo and Jarman, the two coaches. Yeah. Because they they are the funniest blokes together you'll ever meet in your life. Yeah. And I think we'd have a hell of a laugh. Who's driving up to those three ends? They'd make me drive. Yeah? Yeah, so they can have a BB <laughs> yeah. in the back. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of music's going on the Orcs between end to end? Because they're all this, the Oasis, Stereophonics. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. Yeah, you take that. I'm any music for me. I, I like a bit of house, I like a bit of rap. Yeah. Depends on mood I'm in, you know? Yeah. But for them too, it, it wouldn't be rap or it wouldn't be house music, I can tell you after. Yeah, uh, old school. Old school, but I don't mind it. I feel like it. I love a phonics and they will. Yes. So here we are, coming into the, the Theatre group. of Dreams. Coming into the brewery field. So, this is where we'll be on the 13th of July. Hopefully, victorious. Yeah, I'm sure you'll have all of the gen behind you. So, put in here. We have got one last little sort of caveat for the trip. What I haven't told you is we've been measuring your driving efficiency, and we're going to be Turn you up against the other boys that we've got today. Right, so okay. Your final score on the trip computer there is 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour. It's not bad. I think we might be looking at a sort of top three position. Well, is that because I was going quick? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's too exciting, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? yeah. it's too easy, isn't it? Oh. But uh, yeah, Kino win. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. No problem. <laughs>